This should be the right place. Our man might be here. Patients visit this department for treatment and then return home. Department of Tropical Diseases. Oh, Dr. Watson, may I help you? Hello, Baird. My colleague and I are here to see Mr. Byron. Ah, Byron. Yes, he's in a bad way. You'll find him in a cubicle on the window side. Oh, man. Mr. Byron? More doctors? Please, I've just received my treatment. I need to rest a while before I leave. We would like to ask you some questions about an expedition that took place 14 years ago. An expedition? What? What expedition? You're wrong. I've never left London. Is it not you in this photograph from Guatemala? Guatemala? Chekuna man! Ah! Ah! Dr. Baird! Come here quickly, I don't feel well! Ah! What on earth is going on? Please, calm down. I'm sorry, my dear colleagues, but Dr. Brunt is waiting to give Mr. Byron a private consultation. You can wait here. What should we do next, Holmes? Weren't you paying attention? We have to wait, but we'll take advantage of the situation. This address is almost invisible. He recently purchased Chinese tobacco. Our man passed by a circus. Oh, you're still here. Obviously. We're waiting for Mr. Byron. Is he not with you? No, the gentleman left directly after his consultation. Oh, he forgot to collect his belongings. Holmes, it seems that Obiet has escaped. Obviously. And he knows that we are aware of his true identity. Quickly. I know how to find him.
My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Thanks to the information I obtained at the hospital, I can now deduce where Albeit is hiding. We know that Albeit paid a visit to an opium den, a crowded market, and a circus. He also purchased some Chinese tobacco. Let's find a place in London where all four elements are close together. Now we need to find a street name ending in O-O-K. Here it is. 21D Brook Street. Watson, I believe we found Albeit's flat. Did you find Albeit's house on the map? What should we do next, Holmes? Help! Do you hear that? Quick, we have to open this door. The door's too strong and the lock is too solid to break with bare hands. I need to finish here first. All of these statues serve as a perfect hideout for the attacker. I need something sharp to cut those ropes. If I cut those ropes, the curtains will fall and block the attacker's view. This table could serve as cover. Watson, I'll try to reach those curtains to close them. Cover me!
If I cut those ropes, the curtains will fall and block the attacker's view. Cover me! Watson, come here. He's behind the screen. <laughs> Our assailant escaped using this rope. statue was once here. Now it's missing. The iron mounting rod is broken. The surface is damaged. No! Don't kill me! Calm down. It's over now. It's gone. You? Oh. But why are you here? You're not doctors, are you? No. Well, you're half right. Shall we remove these masks? Your true name is Albeit, is it not? You were a member at Charles Yellingham's club. Yes, I was. Can you tell us what happened here? After your visit at the hospital, I quickly returned home. I was lying there on the sofa and... and felt an evil presence in the room. An evil presence? Never mind. It's probably the fever. Or perhaps a living statue? Yes. It was one of the double statues. I saw its shadow. I believed that it was searching for me, that it wanted to kill me. It was horrible. As in Zacharias's murder, the statue came to life when its intended victim appeared in front of it. I must examine your residence. It may hold some clues. Tell us about your expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. It was in my former life. What really happened there? You were said to have died. I was ill with a terrible fever. I asked them to leave me there. I can't remember how. I only have flashes of memory. But by some miracle, I survived. I left an eye and one arm behind. It took me time. But at last, I managed to return to London. Why do you use a false name? 
That expedition signaled the end of my career, and my very life as I had known it. I changed my name and my address. Now I'm weak and useless and alone. I'm a walking dead man. Not for long. <laughs> Perhaps this was it. It was my curse to fade away little by little. Tekunu man's revenge. You are aware of Zacharias's murder, are you not? Yes, and quite aptly, I read that he was killed with a spear. Aptly? Well, he practiced archaeology almost as though it were a sport, seeking adrenaline. Imagine his state of adrenaline when he died, him being the prey. And who would have been the hunter? Takenu man? Whoever, whatever. It'll soon be over for me at any rate. There's a locked door on the first floor. May I have the key for it? All right, but there's nothing interesting inside. Well, thank you again for saving me. What should we do next, Holmes? I need to finish here first. Albeit's wife and son, I presume. <laughs> 